Hey there, my name is Cameron, also known as Venus Theory, and today I'm here with my friends at Denise to share with you a really quick tip that you can use to improve your mixes using a distortion in place of a compressor and even an EQ. In this video, we're going to be using the God Mode plugin, which you can find with the link down in the description below, and with that, let's get right into it. Today I've cooked up kind of a drum and bass style example, so first let's take a listen to the before and after, and then we're going to break down what I'm doing and why. In this video we're going to be focusing specifically on the drums, so pay particular attention to those as we go through the before and after examples here. So they don't sound bad, but they maybe sound like they lack a bit of glue and lack a bit of punch, and they're also kind of just dull and dead sounding. Now let's bring in God Mode and some Punisher here and take a listen to After. First up, let's talk about what's going on inside of God Mode here. Let's drop the mix all the way down, start working it in. And that's really the change that it's bringing to the mix. If you didn't know, distortion and compression are very similar processes, and a distortion is more or less just a compressor without attack or release factored in. So with that in mind, we're using God Mode to do two things compress the audio and glue things together and enhance the tone. The cool thing with saturation is different saturation modes, and God Mode has three, we've got tape, warp, and buzz, different saturation modes impart different tonalities and characteristics onto the audio by enhancing different harmonics. So in plain English, basically this means that different distortions provide a different timbre to things. Some might make things sound warm, some might make them sound very airy and bright, and some might sound very harsh and digital and cold, and that's kind of a cool way to approach controlling your audio. Here in God Mode, I brought up a bit of tape for some warmth and some bite to things, some warp, which really just makes things pretty edgy, and a little bit of buzz, which I found brought out the cymbals in a nice way. If we bring the pull control all the way up here just to get rid of these tone controls, we'll hear exactly what's going on before and after. It's a subtle difference, but you can hear it's very much like a compressor and it's pulling things together. To get a bit more of that high end back, I just dropped the mix down, so I'm effectively doing a form of parallel compression, but in this case it's just parallel distortion. And that brings some of that life back to those symbols, and then I use the controls here to high pass this a little bit. If we mix this all the way in and drop the high pass filter all the way down, a little bit too crunchy on that low end, so I just brought it up. Just to more or less leave the kick alone, except the mid-range of the kick. Then we back it off. And we've got a pretty nice drum mix going on there. Then I use these tone controls to bring up a lot of the air, and then a little bit of snap and bite in the snare, and kind of the top mids of the kick. With that, if we bring the pull control all the way up, and start working it in, we'll hear the difference it makes really starts to bring out a lot of character, really work on that snare, really bringing those cymbals up and making them pretty forward in the mix. With that, we've used a distortion plugin to successfully do some EQ and compression work to the mix. To finish things off, I brought in a little bit of Punisher just to add a bit more bite to things, so I'm just gonna bring this in with the Punish very slowly until I find a point where things start to really rock and roll. So that's probably way too much. Let's back it down. Right about there is sounding pretty good. So before and after in the context of the mix once again. Bring in God Mode. And bring in a bit of Punisher. And it's as simple as that. God Mode is available right now. It's a really handy little distortion plugin that you can use to mangle and destroy your audio or use it in some more subtle and restrained and creative ways like we've done here to use it in place of a compressor and a saturator. God Mode is available right now. If you want to check it out, you can find more information with the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the Denise channel down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.